Envoy's special Envoy on me. We shall continue to advocate for girls' rights to education and economic independence and to be whatever they aspire to be because young women and girls are powerful, equal, and they are badass. 150 million will be married in childhood in Africa if we do not do anything about it, if we do not act right now. And that's why we commend the initiative of the First Lady, Mama Mary, and her leadership and action to attain our continental goal at the African Union campaign to end child marriage by 2030. Excellencies, South Sudanese youth are not the leaders of tomorrow. They are not the next generation. They are the leaders of today. They are the assets, the hope of this young nation. South Sudanese youth are the solution, not the problem. They are the peace builders, not the perpetrators of violence. Even though they are tired, they are tired from the hardships they have gone through, they have the guts, the passion, the agency, the dedication to build this country. They are the most affected and they are the ones who want and can make peace happen. So let's invest in them now. Let's not invest in them tomorrow. Here on this land of what you call the golden opportunities, not outside of it. Invest in their skills, creativity, innovation, professionalism and ideas and that will take this country to the highest ranks of excellence. It's time for intergenerational dialogue and co-leadership. It's time for young governments. It's time for young women empowerment. We must work together and co-create with youth, especially young women. South Sudanese youth, especially young women, deserve the education, health, the conducive economic environment for peace and jobs with dignity. Like any other youth in the world, they deserve better. And with all due respect, Chief, it's not men who are subjected to sexual violence, it's one in three women every single day that is subjected to sexual violence. So it's not to blame girls for what they did not commit, it's to educate men. So we need people like you to educate your boys, not to blame our girls. Gender-based violence is also violence. Keeping women in the kitchen is violence. Depriving women from school is violence. Having four women as wives and live in poverty is violence. Chief, I think we need to talk over a nice South Sudanese meal. And in the spirit of Pan-Africanism, South Sudan youth issues are Africa's issues. And as the African Union Youth Envoy, I'm here in solidarity with all South Sudanese youth to advocate for their interests, for their rights, for their participation in decision and peace process that affect them and their future. I'm here to emphasize my commitment to work closely with South Sudanese leadership, government, and the First Lady to build the Africa they want, to build the South Sudan they want. Peaceful, with dignity, where we value the contribution of women. So let us join hands together to end early child marriage and pregnancy in South Sudan. Thank you, South Sudan, for the hospitality and for your leadership. Shukran. Can I have the English version of your speech? You can take it all. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Her Excellency Aya Shebi. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, my name is Macham. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was so wonderful. Uh, now you can see the value of educating a girl.